Richard Spencer Florida speech triggers state of emergency. Governor Rick Scott of Florida schedules a state of emergency in Florida County ahead of the Richard Spencer speech. So Richard Spencer and his alt-right thuggery is coming to the University of Florida in the form of a speech. But Florida doesn't want him. Hi, my name is Paul Gordon with iState.tv, and this is your iTrend of the day. So Richard Spencer is the uh, poster child for the alt-right. Uh, a now more clearly defined white nationalist movement that likes to carry tiki torches and chant blood and soil in the fine Nazi tradition. The university, understandably, doesn't want him there. And Governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency ahead of the event. So this is the the self-described. See, that's that's what bears repeating. This is the self-described white nationalist and alt-right poster child, Richard Spencer, who is scheduled to give his speech at the University of Florida coming up this Thursday, October 19th, 2017. So what did what did Governor Rick Scott do? Well, he issued a seven page executive order in which he outlined plans to enable local and state law enforcement to work the event together. Isn't that nice? And it also activates the Florida National Guard to assist if needed. So in the order, Scott declared that the threat of of a potential emergency is imminent imminent scott said in part about the order we live in a country where everyone has the right to voice their opinion however we have zero tolerance for violence and public safety is always our number one priority i have been in constant contact with sheriff darnell who has requested the executive order to ensure that county and local law enforcement have every needed resource this executive order is an additional step to ensure that the University of Florida and the entire community is prepared so everyone can stay safe. So, is Governor Rick Scott, is he is he overreacting? Is he underreacting? Has he hit it just right? Let us know in the comments section below. And uh, d do be sure that you comment because we will be picking over the, the course of the week. I think we're going to start this next week. We're going to be starting... A, a weekly little thing that we're going to do that's called uh, You Comment, in which I will address some of the comments that I get, not just on our YouTube channel, but on our Facebook page, on our site, and numerous other ways that, that people send us messages. So I am Paul Gordon. That is right. I am absolutely Paul Gordon of iState DT, iState TV. And this is your iTrend of the day. Be sure that you click on the link provided above. It's going to be somewhere over there. Somewhere in the corner over. Oh, oh, somewhere in the corner over there. Be sure that you click on the link provided above to the full article where I also offer a little opinion on the dilemma of, on one hand, not wanting to be complacent in watching white nationalism rise. And who wants that other than white nationalists? And on the other side, not wishing to see the state given the power to restrict speech based on the undefinable term, term hate speech. And I'm going to give you a clue. The nature of property is, is at the heart of what I'm going to be talking about. So if you like this video and this channel, then help us out. By subscribing to us, that helps our channel a lot. And also clicking that bell next to the big red subscribe button because that lets you know when, when we make our next video. And do share this video with your friends. And like I said, comment because your comment just might end up on our weekly feature, You Comment.